With the development of television and the technical advance which made it possible to receive and transmit simultaneously on the same instrument, private life came to an end. Every citizen, or at least every citizen important enough to be worth watching, would be kept for twenty-four hours a day under the eyes of the police and in the sound of official propaganda, with all other channels of communication closed. Since you're attacking us, can you give us a question? Go since ahead. You're, no, Mr. President-elect. Go, go ahead. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. since you are attacking no, our news not you. organization, not can you. you give us a chance? Your organization You are attacking terrible. our news organization. Your organization Can you give us a chance Let's to go. ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can Quiet. you state... Can Quiet. Quiet. Mr. Reality control, they called it. In Newspeak, Doublethink. You're saying it's a falsehood, and they're giving Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts. To know and not to know. To be conscious of complete truthfulness while telling carefully constructed lies. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period. If the party could thrust its hand into the past and say of this or that event, it never happened, that surely was more terrifying than mere torture and death. A party member is expected to have no private emotions and no respites from enthusiasm. He is supposed to live in a continuous frenzy of hatred of foreign enemies and internal traitors, triumph over victories and self-abasement before the power and wisdom of the party. Knock the crap out of him, would you? Seriously. A hideous ecstasy of fear and vindictiveness, a desire to kill, to torture, to smash faces in with a sledgehammer, seemed to flow through the whole group of people like an electric current, turning one even against one's will into a grimacing, screaming lunatic. Bye! Go home to mommy! Go home to mommy! Before the hate had proceeded for thirty seconds, uncontrollable exclamations of rage were breaking out from half the people in the room. All their ferocity was turned outwards against the enemies of the state, against foreigners, traitors, saboteurs, thought criminals. What they fucking they pussies you guys are. Yeah. Uh -huh. You guys are uh -huh. such little bitches, uh -huh. man. Yep. You need a safe space from words, you yeah. little faggot. Consciously to induce unconsciousness. And then once again to become unconscious of the act of hypnosis you had just performed. Even to understand the word doublethink involved the use of doublethink. War is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is strength. 